Peace and love. It's yours truly, Nefer Peacock Nubia, coming to you during the time of Friday the 13th and the energy of the full moon in Sagittarius, which is so exciting because there's so much going on at this time. Um, I have already um, began to clean. I took a shower and I used my concoction of herbs and oils and I cleansed myself within the shower. I mopped the kitchen, I swept the kitchen, um, washed clothes um, because I just like to be clean before doing any rituals, okay? Um, this day, I have a book right here that is called The Magical Almanac and um it has it goes and you might want to check this out go to barnes and nobles and look for this book because it has um it tells you every single day what kind of magic you can use or what energy or color is for that day for example today friday june the 13th oh i keep hitting my little light right here okay friday june the 13th is a full moon that comes in at 12 11 a.m eastern standard time um the color is pink which is why i have on pink lipstick <laughs> the moon sign is in sagittarius and then it enters capricorn at 104 um, p.m and it, it, the instance is time okay so um let's focus on the sagittarius full moon energy since that energy will still kind of linger around for a while even after the moon enters capricorn because we also I keep hitting this light because we also still have Mercury, which is in retrograde, and Venus, I mean Venus, um, Mercury that's in retrograde. We have Venus in Taurus opposing Saturn in Scorpio, and I will explain all, what all of this means and um, different rituals and thoughts and things you should ponder on because it is such a wonderful time to really heal, really manifest, and really reflect, okay? Um, I'm talking a little low, so hopefully you guys can hear me, but I'm talking a little low because Wisdom Bella is asleep right behind me. Um, it's so beautiful in here. I wish you guys could see because I have time burning, um, some sage burning because, of course, you want to sage your spot. Um, I also like to burn sage when I'm taking my shower, so um, if you guys want to do that. And also remember during the day, you can still do full moon rituals because the moon is still up and out there, okay? It's just you can't see it because the sun is burning brighter okay um but most people like to do it at night or around the time of the full moon which is also the most powerful the closest you do it to the time of the full moon uh, your rituals become more powerful and at this time i want you to write out your thoughts because um mercury being retrograde is really a time to reflect and go inward um especially and, and really think about things of the past um childhood wounds um maybe past relationships that uh, what have you learned from those past relationships it's really a time to go within and be with yourself okay um even though the uh, sagittarius likes to get out and likes to travel um but the sign of the sagittarius is a centaur which you know is as the head um, and and the lower half is an animal, which we are all centaurs. We all our higher self is our intellect um, and our brilliance up here. And our lower half is, you know, our animalistic nature, our desires, our lust. And with Mars being in Pluto and Lilith being in Leo, um, our lust is really going to come out. We're going to feel really lustful. Um, and you know it's it's okay because Taurus being in Venus, which Taurus loves to be in Venus, makes it a really romantic time. Um, the Taurus loves to lay back like a goddess and be fed grapes, and there's nothing wrong with wanting that energy as long as you're not obsessed with that energy. You know, um, you want balance because Saturn in Scorpio. Um, opposing that Venus in Taurus is kind of like okay you want this and that's fine but let's be real about it are you wanting it too much are you lusting too much where is this lust coming from is it coming from wounds of the past um, is it imbalance what is really going on because Saturn and Scorpio keeps you real and of course we're gonna be in Saturn and Scorpio for a while because we've been in it for a while as well um, I'm gonna go over a few notes that I took down and then we'll get back into talking about all this stuff. Um, at this time, you want to be careful not to go on a crusade or to box yourself into little boxes saying, oh, I found this new diet um, or I started this new spiritual system. This is it. 
and this is it and you close yourself off from anything else okay um you don't want to do that because um that's you should have to be careful with Sagittarius because Sagittarius likes to go on crusades for whatever it believes that is right and wants to tell everybody else they need to be on that too and sometimes it's best to yes if you found a new um, vegan diet or or um, spiritual system that works for you of course you want to take that in and be that but you also want to be open to other things that may come along that may introduce themselves as being a better option for you okay so let's get into some of this so like i said this is this book um there was something else that relates to this time that i wanted to read to you real quick and what was that let's see okay with the full moon being in sagittarius sagittarius encourages flights of imagination and confidence this is an adventurous philosophical and athletic moon time favors expansion and growth um, expansion is a good thing. I'm glad it reminded me of expansion because um, Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter, which is all about expanding, thinking broader, um, opening your mind up to new possibilities, and really going inward. Um, I just watched a video not too long ago of this astrologer who just miraculously and so beautifully describe this time and so i'm going to also add that into my never peacock nubia astrology and cosmos playlist which this video is under for the friday the 13th sagittarius moon and i really encourage you to take the 20 something minutes that um that video is talking about because it i mean this white hippie dude really broke things down so beautifully and i know that it would be a gift to you guys okay and it would really help you in your growth and expansion because that's what it's about along with this mercury retrograde going within okay so let's look at some of my notes as always if you see me glancing down i'm looking in my journal okay let's get into this now remember you still have a couple of days so even if you're not up right now and you're looking at this video as soon as i post it around one or two o'clock because right now it's 1 43 a.m eastern standard time um even if you're not up and you see this you know sometime during friday the 13th or even on saturday you can still you know think about these things and reflect on these things because it's all about um you know just taking advantage of the opportunities that are given okay let's see of course as a lot of you know it's also called the strawberry moon and the honeymoon um let's see what i wrote down here like i said this the moon comes in sagittarius at 12 11 a.m um gemini and sagittarius are in opposition so um they have a lot in common you know so it's a very fun and playful time as well because both gemini and sagittarius is love to travel i'm a gemini so take it from me so this moon will affect you know you gemini's you sagittarius and you tauruses the most even if you're not a gemini or a sagittarius or a taurus it will still affect you okay but um gemini's and sagittarius don't like to really sit still they like to go 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 so it's maybe a good time this weekend to do something new okay try something new if you always wanted to do whatever do that try it okay um let's see so all day venus is in taurus i'm on the 12th and the 13th i'm opposing saturn and scorpio um so it kind of stabilizes the relationship you know taurus is a very grounding sign it's about what i love the things i love how i value what i love so you really want to think about that right now um sometimes people will start feeling bored around this time because like i said gemini's and sagittarius want to go 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 um this opposition will make you um more serious about the issues in your relationship um it's going to dig up and um reveal all secrets okay so if you're keeping any secrets this is a big time jupiter and sagittarius is all about being honest especially honest with yourself don't lie to yourself you know what i'm saying if people have been telling you more than one person especially have been telling you something over and over again you might want, really want to analyze it and not be so stubborn you know maybe something that you do need to change so that you can grow and obtain what it is that you came here to do 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 your work and obtain what it is that you came here to have you know so you won't feel stagnant so you won't feel like why do i keep doing this over and over why do i keep hitting this brick wall why can't i have this i feel like i'm going in circles i'm not getting anywhere because you're not facing the truth about yourself 
So if you really want to do that at this time, and just sit and meditate on it. See bad negative patterns, you know what I mean? Be honest about those patterns so that you can really heal and change those things, you know? And don't make light of it because a lot of times, you know, Gemini and Sagittarius just make light of their issues. And you don't want to ever do that. You want to really buckle down and, oh, thought I heard somebody. Be grounded in Taurus. Okay, let's check it on Bella. So here we go. Um, what else? Sagittarius, like I said, it's all about truth, and, uh, but truth about the metaphysical. So really get deep. Um, ask yourself, are you being honest with yourself and your partner? It's all about coming clean and being honest, like I said, for your own sake. Um, okay, let's see. I pretty much showed you that. Told you Mercury is in retrograde. But this Mercury in retrograde is not usually as bad as most have been because it's um, it's a little bit less confusing. Um, it's really unusual because it's not... Um, forming any harsh aspects with any other planets it's just really going back into the sign of gemini which is meaning gemini is really affecting me <laughs> so it's all about you know when mercury is in retrograde it affects our communication um sometimes when you say things they won't get understood or be taken properly like you be like i just said this and somebody else will be like that totally hurts something else um and what else you often find yourself repeating yourself um, people are not understanding where you're coming from. So it's usually best to not respond at this time of Mercury being in retrograde. You really want to um, just sit back and just chill, okay? Let's see what else. Now, this is a book I have called Moon Magic. And for this time period of the Strawberry Honeymoon... Um, I'll just share some of the things of correspondence is with this time. Maybe you want to incorporate that with this, um, whatever rituals you're doing. Um, the nature spirits, we'll get over past that. Um, the herbs are skull cap, meadow sweet, vervain, chanty, dog grass, parsley, and Moses. So maybe you want to put some parsley, you know, something basic like that in your food that you're eating. Um, the colors are orange and golden green. Um, the flowers are lavender orchid and yarrow maybe you want to buy those put them in your home um since lily of the valley and lavender i have lavender oil burning over there lavender is so good to obtain love and, and money as well um stones are topaz agate alexandrite and fluorite so make sure if you have those you put them out in your window seal to soak up some of the energy in the cosmos um the trees are oak the animals are the monkey the butterfly the frog and the toad the birds are the wren and the peacock. <laughs> okay, the deities. Um, and of Nakane, Isis, Neith, Green Man, Keridan, Bendis, Ishtar. Ishtar. Okay, the power flow. This is important. Full of restless energy. Protect, strengthen, and prevent. Take your responsibility for present happenings. Work on personal inconsistencies. Strengthen and reward yourself for your positive traits. If y'all missed that, y'all need to rewind that because that's good stuff. Okay. Um, it's a good time to also say affirmations. Write down affirmations. Um, but like I said, right now you really want to dig deep. You want to be real with yourself. You know what I'm saying? Are you giving too much into your lusts? Even if they're lust for power, lust for attention, lust for other people, lust for drugs, alcohol, anything, you really want to pay attention to those things and really evaluate why you do those things because moment, temporary momentary gratification is not going to help you get to where you're trying to go and obtain things that you want to obtain in this life. So, you know, face that and, and figure that out. You know, this is the time to do it. Um, sometimes it's not easy. Sometimes it's hard um, to face the truth about yourself and the things that you may not be over with the past. But do it. Do it. And pray about it. And meditate on it. And burn that sage. And take baths in that salt water and that goat milk. And, um... And really cleanse and, and purify. Go and get in the ocean. You know, it's been, I'm in Miami currently. And it's been storming here for like two weeks. You know, this past weekend was okay. Um, 
my girls came out to celebrate my birthday with me but it's, I got an ocean then and it was also wisdom Bella's first time in the ocean but it's been crazy weather but even when it rains at the time of the full moon it's a good idea to take a glass bowl and put it outside in the rain and collect that rain especially if it's lightning and thundering because it's it's supercharged and um, sometimes that water is good to put by your bed at night to keep from having nightmares um, or just looking in it um, with a mirror and saying you know you release these negative traits about yourself and um, pouring it out and over yourself um, in the shower and as you wash away those negative traits ideas thoughts you know negative things and it's about remembering that you're powerful you were made in the divine image and likeness of the most high so you have the power easily to easily get whatever you want and to let go of whatever is not serving you think positive about letting go things that are no longer serving you and think positive knowing that you'll get whatever it is that you want I, I, that's what i said when i was in the shower i always get what i want i always get what i need okay and i get it so that i may be able to help others you know this video is part of my ritual because i really love you and i really want the best for you to see you shine to see you happy to see you abundant to see you blissful and i will that for you in your life in the name of all things good and holy the highest good okay um i'm not going to get into this but what this is this was um some rituals that you can do using the psalms sometimes reading certain psalms um I won't even say sometimes, let me take that back. Reading certain psalms are very powerful when wanting to obtain stuff, um, use, usually burning a candle. I'm going to challenge you guys to do your own research because I did. And when you do your own research behind your rituals, um, it's more powerful because you're putting more energy into it. So look up different herbs. Everything's an herb, whether it's cinnamon, parsley, stuff that you have in your kitchen, cayenne, pepper, all kinds of stuff, basil. Um, look at those things. R Google it. Google those herbs and see what they do. You know, basil is good for protection. It's good for money. It's good for love. You know, you could just do something as simple as putting basil in your bath water. You know, sitting in it for seven minutes. You know, maybe with some um, some sea salt. You know, or whatever. I mean, the simplest things in your kitchen. You just pray to the Most High. And you thank the Most High for giving you these herbs and these stones and this nature, you know, to utilize, you know. He made you, the Most High made you the ruler over all of these things. So it gives things that you have these things to be able to utilize, you know, for your, the better of yourself. And really face yourself. Again, I want to tell you to be sure that you go and look at the video that I posted in Astrology and Cosmos with the white hippie dude. Um, and watch that video because I know it will be a gift to you just like I know this video was I love you and I thank you in advance for your comments your likes and your shares because that's how you show people you love them by passing on the knowledge and also showing your gratitude for what is given and being presented here I don't ask for money I just really appreciate your appreciation okay so one love um, also Google your chart um, type in um, free astro ast astrological chart and see where Sagittarius is in your chart okay and see what it says because that area of your life is going to be um, dramatically affected at this time you know or Jupiter is in your chart all right I love you namaste hotel shalom peace y'all